Hey, what's up? Welcome to the big leagues. This is National Motos. I want to show you around the dealership a little bit what we do every day. Start over here in the BMW showroom. That's where we keep all the BMW bikes, obviously. Pretty safe assumption. Just had the showroom redone um, about a year ago. Yeah. yeah, a year ago today. Place is looking nice. We got the new tile floor and all the hardwood over there in the heritage section per BMW. One of the first dealerships to do it. Looks pretty awesome. Portland, you guys are next. You could use a little refresh. This is Matt. He's our BMW sales guy, number one behind Glenn. There's only two of them, so you guess you could say he's number two, but it is what it is. Glenn's behind him. It's where we make uh, kind of the magic happen with BMW. We hit our goals, make dreams come true, and we, uh, we, we do that sort of thing. Follow me down over here to uh, the Ducati showroom. We'll cruise down there, then cruise back up, and we'll show parts and everybody, everything. Heritage section, keep all the cool stuff. R18s, super fun. If you like cruiser stuff, come see us. We have a good time. Vintage, retro, it's in style right now with the younger kids. Customer lounge, mural, downtown Nashville. Thank you, Jason Curtis. He helped us put this together, as well as we have the cool neon up here, make life a ride. One of my personal favorite portions of kind of the remodel that we did, just really pops and looks good. It was timid at first, but I think it ended up really, really well. Now, my personal favorite part of the dealership, Ducati showroom. What's going on, boys? This is the uh, Italian side of our dealership. We're doing a little MTV Cribs action, showing, showing around the shop and kind of what we do every day. We got Glennard, Glendulum, Glencenzo, Glennifer Aniston, Glennifer Love Hewitt, our 10 or 20 year salesman, guy's a legend, used to be referred to as Thumper for his massive thighs, rock and roll. Logie Bay over here, usually behind the parts counter, but he's getting a little stretch of the legs down here to come say hi to Ethan, our head Ducatista, RIP Kyle, but Ethan is younger and has a way better mustache than Kyle. So Daytona, watch out, mustaches rule. This is the back half. We have tons of new Ducatis in stock, so we like to keep everything new on this showroom, except for, you know, we have a few fun little things, trials bikes and then a used Panigale back there, but Mainly we try to keep it a uh, new Ducatis down here just for the presence and the Italian feel. We like it like that. Um, also, we have all of our Revit gear. I'm a huge Revit guy, love their product. Makes it nice so I don't have to buy BMW and Ducati stuff. I can wear Revit on either of the bikes that I choose to ride. Over here we have our Alpine Star section too. We're a huge retailer for Alpine Star and Revit. We do a ton of business with them. We love all their products. They look good, feel good, and they protect us most importantly. Um, our first coffee machine, we love coffee around the dealership. We went with the authentic Italian Nespresso machine for espresso, if you would. Um, that's really it as far as the Ducati showroom. Oh, scrambler section over here. Similar to the R18 stuff, Ducati likes to have their own specific lineup for their cool factor motorcycles and the scrambler's a super fun line. Starter bikes, cool for anybody really. Night shift's a cool cafe racer, looks good. Let's go up to the parts department. See what's going on up there. Oh, that's Miles, our lot valet. Great haircut, great smile, great guy. Works a photograph or a, a camera just really, really well. Also a great van driver if you guys ever need limos or anything. This is Lance Isaacs, he's our chief experience officer. Funny thing about this specific poster, it's actually life size. Yes, Lance is that short in real life. Great guy though, makes up for him personality. It's all of our BMW apparel that we have over here. Um, great stuff, incoming BMW always does a phenomenal job with all their gear and everything. Best quality, best looks in my opinion, and they just do awesome. Oh, there's Logan, look at him, snuck up behind us. Parts counter, how'd you do that? Know. Who knows, there we go. Just very quick. Yeah, Logs, what goes on in the parts department these days? Quite a bit. Yeah? A lot of, uh, lot of accessories, a lot of apparel. Cool. Logs, what did you just, what did you just pick up? Uh, what, what do you mean? Logue just bought a new R250 GS, went to the Riders Academy, and he, uh, what are we calling it? You, you, I drink the Kool-Aid. He drinks the Kool-Aid, so Logue's is loving that motorcycle. We'll cruise over here, 
This is our admin GM office. Our fearless leader, Sean. Sean's the best. He does everything for us that we know and enjoy. Nothing happens in here that Sean doesn't know about and for a good reason because he's the best decision maker out of all of us. Also our social media room and where Sydney and Aaron work. They do a great job for us. We love them. We'll go through the uh, break room. Break room, this is where we uh, this is where we really bond. You know, we eat our meal preps or we eat our Chipotle. We're big Raisin Cane's fans. Um, five Star Fajita Friday's huge for the sales team. We always munch together in here. We have all of our goals and stuff on the boards. This one specifically, her name's Carol Baskin. Uh, we have a very special relationship. She followed me from Utah. I thought I avoided her at my previous dealership. Turns out she came here. Um, that explains itself, Carol Baskin where we play all the awesome tunes. We get compliments because we play real music like a real motorcycle dealership, Allison Chains. And this is where we keep everybody happy. This is the service department. I mean, notice we have tons of motorcycles going on right now. It's winter, so a lot of fun projects like a super old retro Ducati up there. Over here, we got El Jefe. You guys recognize him from some of the other videos. Jacob over there, service rider, parts manager. These boys keep us rolling and keep everybody happy. Motorcycles accessorized and running and running well too. So looks like we're working on the old forklift action over here. Stuart, what's going on baby? Stuart's our BMW tech. He's awesome. He's third level, does a great job for us and BT Moto or BT Tune certified. So if you want your bike to be badass, come in and see us. Let's see, we'll come back to those guys later. This is the service check-in area. She's a little messy right now, we're doing a little spring cleaning, trying to get ready and make it look good for all the customers. I already met Jacob, Sterling's behind here, he's our service manager, he's the guy, knows everything Ducati BMW. He's awesome, do a great job, you guys come say hello and get your bikes worked on, answer all your questions for him. We'll cruise back up this way and then we'll make a, we'll make a little snake to come back in. Over here we have all of our climb stuff as well. This is super awesome, especially for cold and hot weather riding in Nashville. We get a lot of um, inclement weather and then super, super hot weather too. So climb's a great product for it. This is probably our newest addition to the showroom and one of the best parts about the entire thing. It's our helmet wall. So we're huge on safety. I mean, your mom always says you would never go cheap on your head, right? We also agree with that because we ride fast motorcycles, we ride aggressive, we ride hard, but we also like to ride safe. So we have anything from your mid-level HJC, AGV, Showy, Arai, all the goods, everything on here that you could ever want. We also can order you any helmet too, but it's nice to have a wall, not only a variety of colors, but also sizes. So if we don't have the specific color you want in the helmet, you can try on the size and we can order it and get you the exact helmet you want. So that's a super great feature that we've had. It's helped a lot of our customers out too. And who doesn't like fun, shiny, expensive helmets? Back in the BMW showroom, um, Number two coffee machine over there. Like I said, we love coffee over here in Nashville. That thing's awesome. Customers love it too. But we'll step outside really quick. Not a lot of people understand how many motorcycles we actually have in stock, but we always at least have 100 motorcycles. And we move these in and out every single night, or we move them out every morning and in every night. And this is all of our pre-owned inventory. So everything you see out here, unless it has like a sold sign like that one, that's a new bike over there, all this is pre-owned. And we try to segment it to all of our new BM or pre-owned BMWs over here, and then everything else over here. So you have all everything from Harleys, Ducatis, Royal Enfield. Heck, we even have a side by or a sidecar Ural over there. That thing's so much fun, but we sell anything. So any bike you want, come see us and we usually can find it. If we don't have it, we'll grab it from one of our other stores to bring to you. We'll go back into the service department, see if we can head up to the, uh, the warehouse, like we call it, or the storage unit. Aaron, our social media manager, you guys know him. What's going on? Don't look at the hat, don't look at the hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll cruise in this way now. Still working the forklift, but that's okay. Operator is Daniel. He's our newest Ducati certified tech. He's also forklift certified. Don't worry about it. We all have cards. 
We're doing some uh, spring cleaning, like I said. We're gonna put a weight room in here so we can make sure to handle all the heavy bikes that we're always moving. Upper Mezzity, we won't even get into that. That's a whole, whole thing where we keep all of the boxes for the helmets. Here's our tire hallway. Um, yes, it is just as creepy as it looks. If you've ever seen the movie Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, the scene where Dumbledore runs at you as a ghost, I have the same fear every single time I walk past this hallway. Then this is the part of the dealership that really no customers see because we keep it, I mean, kind of hidden. It's, a, it's one of the things where it's like your grandmother who has that one room that there's a bunch of cool antiques in that she doesn't let anybody go into because she's afraid of people seeing kind of the mess. This is all organized mess. We know everything that goes on in here. This is also where we keep every single one of our used motorcycles at night. So we pull them in through where we walked in, the door, you guys saw the garage, and we pull them out that way in the mornings. And yeah, I mean, that's really it. This is where we, uh, where we do all the fun stuff, where we have fun and make people, make people happy, sell motorcycles and live the passion, take the ride, and we're always riding ourselves, so. Yeah. And then one final stop. We ended where we started. This is the finance office. I'm the uh, GSM and finance manager. So this is kind of where I dwell and hide out. But for the time being, you know, I got deals to work on, bikes to sell and people to make happy. So National Motos, Motos of America, you guys can get on out and we're going to sell some motorcycles. Like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you guys soon.